So today I'm going to share with you some dating profiles on the dating app Hinge. And together I would love for us to go through some of the potential red and green flags that come with dating profiles and just the entire online dating experience. And also in particular for my ladies, I want you to stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to talk to you about a very weird confusing phenomena that happens particularly to us women on dating apps and I'm going to share with you the inside scoop on why this phenomena happens so make sure to stick around until the end of the video. Alright so I'm just going to share with you my phone screen so that you can follow me along throughout this process and I don't know I feel like it's a little bit more intimate if you can see exactly what I'm doing and so you can judge for yourself the different profiles that I'm going to share with you. Okay so downloading the app is super duper easy if you have an iPhone like I do then all you have to do is go into your apps type in hinge into the search bar and it should be the first option that appears you click on that you click the download button and voila the app is all yours now I've already set up my profile so that I could make this video so I can't really show you what that process looks like but this is the app this is what it looks like when you've already created a profile. So it starts off by sharing with you your most compatible match. And this match is based on your hinge activity, which is just basically the profiles that you have liked, the ones that you have dismissed, the ones that you have engaged with, whether that is by liking that profile or even messaging that person. All right, so let's go through this person's profile just to search for some potential red and green flags. So as you scroll Scroll down you can see beneath the initial picture of this person that they've answered their prompt with some really interesting information about themselves and then beneath we can learn more about their age, their occupation, their education, and their religious beliefs or lack thereof. And for me personally, it's always a major green flag when someone takes the time to really fill in this information. And if we scroll back up, we see that this person has even chosen to share their COVID vaccination status, which may or may not be a deal breaker for some people, but I particularly like to know that vaccination status and it's just honestly it keeps things really transparent and clear and they have also chosen to share whether or not they are a recreational drinker or smoker and whether or not they have children or would like to have children in the future and these are major pieces of information to pay attention to especially for my ladies i really want to emphasize that if you are on an app like hinge looking for a long-term partner who you will be compatible with over time you want to really pay attention to what a person tells you about themselves, what they tell you about where they are now in their lives, and where they plan on going, and what they envision their future to look like. And honestly, you do not want to jump into the mindset of trying to change someone. If someone says something on their profile that is not in alignment with who you are or who you want to be, then you cannot change that person and you should not change yourself for that person. That is just a dub and you need to keep it pushing. And I'm even really particular when it comes to profiles where the guy is like unsure or trying to figure out what my dating goals are. If they're unsure, I do not need to be the person to come in and help them figure it out. Even if it is for the better, even if it is for a long-term relationship to ultimately ensue, I just feel that wishy-washiness, like the blurred lines, it's just not worth it when there are people out there who know what they want and what they want is in alignment with what you want right now. Now, this guy wouldn't really be someone that I in particular would be interested in, 
but or I guess I should say and I think that he has a really thoughtful and interesting profile clearly he has taken the time to make his profile interesting and fun and for my men out there who are watching this that is incredibly important first impressions just generally speaking whether we're talking about in the real world or online first impressions are everything but when it comes to online dating, first impressions are incredibly important. Like they are non-negotiable. You need to make a good first impression. And there are a few reasons why this is the case. First of all, you want to make a good first impression because it's a lot easier to just swipe left to dismiss someone online than it is in person. Another reason why you really want to make sure that you make a good first impression is women on dating apps get a lot of attention. For better or worse, we get a lot of attention. We consistently get a lot of attention. And so you really want to make sure that your profile is a standout profile. And speaking of standouts, that takes me to the next feature that I really love about Hinge and that I think sets it apart from the other dating apps, and that is the standouts page. So this page is a collection of outstanding profiles that Hinge's algorithm has gathered based on the data that you have provided it. And I have found personally, I don't know if this is just my experience, but I have found that the profiles that appear on the standouts page really are just like superior. Like there are some slam dunk profiles with usually really cute guys. So I'm a major fan of the standouts page. And in addition to the standout profiles, each week you are given a rose that you can send to one of the individuals that owns the profile on the standouts page. Okay, so let's move on to another profile and let's look for some potential red flags or some potential green flags. But with this guy, I really like that he responded to the voice prompt. The voice prompt is another feature of Hinge that I think is really cool because it allows you to just use your voice to respond to some of the prompts. And I just think it's a really nice feature that on these dating profiles, you can hear someone else's voice. I think that's really cool. But it kind of goes downhill from there. For New Year, same dot dot dot, he says drive, which is admirable, but very generic. I wouldn't remember that. And also just in comparison to the previous profile, he doesn't share with us his vaccination status, his desire to have children or not have children, or his religious beliefs. And again, it's not a make or break for everyone, but withholding this information can definitely narrow down your dating pool. And you know, as far as his pictures go, he's a handsome guy. He has clearly a really nice physique he takes care of his body and he has an absolutely gorgeous 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 complexion just absolutely delicious but shirtless pics honestly are kind of a dime a dozen like just to be a haunted like just to be straightforward they really are just very very common and I don't know, he's just, he's really not helping himself with his dry responses to the prompts. Like, they don't really make him seem like a well-rounded guy who's not just handsome but also interesting and has depth and I know that's not what everyone is looking for but like I know that there are a lot of us women out there who find a man with depth with substance and with like palpable depth and substance we find that to be very attractive and he may have that quality he very well could it's just his profile's not giving me that. It's not given substance. It's not given depth. I'm not saying that this guy is a bad person and I'm not saying that he wouldn't make some woman incredibly happy. I'm just saying that looking at his profile in comparison to all the attention that women receive on a dating app, this particular profile is just, it's not a red flag. It's not like a flaming red flag, 
but it's just boring. And again, for my men out there, I am not saying that you have to go above and beyond. I am not saying that you have to write dissertations in response to the prompts. I'm not saying that you have to have pictures of yourself like going to the Taj Mahal or like in some remote countryside in England. Like I'm not saying you have to do the most, but you have to give something that someone else can connect with. Like that's the thing is that especially for women, you really want to try through your profile to generate like an emotional response an emotional connection just something that we can feel like give us something that we can feel ladies remember how I told you at the beginning of the video that I wanted to talk to you all like I want to spill some tea I wanted to share a secret with you about a phenomena that occurs very often to us when it comes to online dating. And that occurrence that I keep talking about is whenever a guy likes your profile and you reach out to him and then he does not respond, like he ghosts you <laughs> before he can even talk to you in the first place. You just, is silence, like it is total silence. And it leads you wondering like, what did I do wrong? What happened? Like, he liked my profile. I said hello and he didn't respond. Like, how did I mess up with a hello? And so I was talking to one of my closest guy friends who I think is very insightful and also just very honest. Like, never, ever, ever sugarcoats. Just always tells me exactly what things are and what it is. And I asked him, what makes a guy like a woman's profile? And then she reaches out and he doesn't respond. And like, is there anything she can do to avoid that? And he basically said no. And this is why. One, there's the reason of, or one of the reasons is that men in general on dating apps reach out to a lot more women and respond to a lot more profiles from women than vice versa. So let's say that there's like 50 profiles. A man may like 40 of the 50 profiles and a woman may like only like 20 of the 50 profiles. So the pool is just bigger. And what happens is that initially men can be a little bit more superficial and that they may just like a profile because that woman is attractive to them. So they may not really be paying attention to all of the contents of your profile. They're just looking at your beautiful face. And so what sometimes happens is that whenever you reach out to a guy who has liked your profile, he then retroactively goes in and looks at the contents and the details of your profile and then he makes the decision whether or not he would want to move forward with you which is you know for the most part the opposite of how us women approach it where we like the profile we like the guy and we already just kind of have it established that this is someone that we would be interested in another reason why a guy may like your profile and then ultimately not reach out or respond to you is because like in the real world, he may not have approached you because he just thought that you were so stunning. And even though we consider online dating to not be the real world, a lot of the rules and guidelines and just mannerisms and ways of being that exist in the real world are still applicable and still appear when it comes to online dating. So sometimes a guy can just like a beautiful woman's profile and think that he has no chance with her. And so like when she reaches out, he's just like shell shot and he doesn't know what to do because because he literally never thought in like a million years that he could get attention from a woman like you. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. I love doing videos like this just because it's kind of like, I don't know, like an inside conversation between friends and it's just really fun to film. So if you like more content, if you would like more content like this for me, then please let me know down below. Until next time, stay safe, be well, and I will see you all soon. Bye, everyone.